And now, the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Let's not make them wait. Let's not make them wait anymore. It is the bonfire. It is Tuesday. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Big J Okerson, Dan Soder. Hey. Burglary. They Just a fucking, burglary of time. They so fucking, such a burglary of what are they time and effort. For? What are they against us for Can here? Can you believe this burglary that's happened? It's been a real burglary of our time. It's a burglary. I can't say. That's the. It's turned out that's my kryptonite word. That's the word. Burglary. Um, can't say it to read. I don't, I'm sorry uh, again, everybody. We're starting... 15 minutes late, but just a tip of the cap to Lou Witzke. The ship was going down, and this motherfucker got down in the engine room and corrected it. Yeah. We had the two screens of death. Jacob... Running around like his hair's on fire. <laughs> Jacob's, yeah. Jacob's frazzled as all hell. Uh, My computer screen's not working, so Jay I no, no call log. I'm doing. All. I'm doing pretty good. Little bum. My horse died in in uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. You've been hanging on to that. R- I- yeah. R.I.P. Nightfall. Comedy Central. Help. Comedy Central. Please help. Help us. Help you. I mean, help us. Help us get the fuck into a studio that we don't have to start. We were going to start five please. minutes late, no matter what, every day. That this studio Unless is you, occupied first. Unless you, the people, do something. People can't do anything. Hi, I'm Dan Soder from The Bonfire. But Comedy, right Cent- now, Comedy Central, step in. We need sponsors. Help. We need our Comedy Central family to help. They This this shuffle is not working. It's it's We're hallway kids again. It really is We're affecting so the show. It's affecting the show's time. That's like really like stinks. And what is time? I like this <laughs> I'm, talking to you, I'm talking to you, advertising department. It's money. Time is money. So here at the Dan Soder Sexy Financial Hour, <laughs> we're going to teach you how to save some nickels and some dimes. Hi, I'm Make Dan. <laughs> Welcome back to Central, <laughs> yeah. Central Economics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out here on this finance. <laughs> Dan Soda here to put you into that fire I just, trance. I just, I just sell out and stop doing comedy and just ride this billion waves into some fucking corny thing. So why don't you finance over here in my fire stance? Why don't you call this number and we can talk shorts, longs, stocks, and bonds. I wanna, I wanna yell at these companies. You wanna or, yell at them? Please do Dan, it. Yell at us. Yes, come on. Yell at. We have to get us. This show's not starting on time now. Yeah, that sucks. It's affecting the show. We're shuffling you, around already. If you follow us at the Bonfire SXM, Black Lou took a photo of what the video screens look like, and it was some fucking. It looked like the. It, it looked like a whacked, computer like a virus. TV, yeah, like yeah. A 1950s TV. It needed a good whack in the back of the tube. We believe we've been colluded by Russia. I don't know if that's the way you say that. I just hear it a lot on the news. Yeah, what did they do on the show before? Is chew on the computers or something? Why would that happen? <laughs> chew the wires, boys. Let's blow this place. <laughs> I have no computer screen. Oh, well, Jay, look at me. Look at your co-host. What? Look at the guy that loves you. What? Okay. You think I'm in a good mood? My fucking horse is dead in Red Dead Redemption 2. You're hanging on to that. It's not a real horse, Dan. It is to me, damn it. It's real to me, it's damn nightfall. it. nightfall. Dude, he's, he's no longer nightfall. R.I.P. Now he's a... No, just, he's, he's always going to be nightfall. He's on that digital plane. He's on that different digital astral plane. Jesus Christ, got a lot of reads for an illiterate fellow over here. Man, that sure is a lot of reads for a show that they don't respect enough. <laughs> Let's do our full time. Well, it's funny we can do all the commercials, but we can't have our joke time in there, huh? I mean, motherfucker. You know what, Jay? You flip me. Can we just read all the commercials right now and get them over with? Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I just just crank one open. (laughs) Fucking guess what? We're just going to do this. Hey, all right, guys. Let's talk about how you get clothes. Because shopping sucks, right? So why wait in line or go to cramped dressing rooms and annually search for your size when you can just get the clothes delivered in your house? It is moronic. Bombfell.com. It's the easiest way for guys to get better clothes with no shopping required. Jacket I'm wearing today came from Bombfell. Got hooked up by my... They put you with a specific stylist that knows what brands you like, what size you wear, and then he sends you stuff. My guy, Michael, this guy sent a jacket. You told me your style is straight sex appeal. Yeah. I said, I'm trying to do sexy finance, dude. You got to send me stuff that's tight fitting and smart. And that's what they do. Bombfell will send you stuff and you even get to keep, you even get 20% off when you buy multiple items. So what are you waiting for? Go sign up right now. waiting, idiot. Yeah. Go to bombfell.com slash bonfire and get $25 off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-F-E-L-L dot com slash bonfire for $25 off. Bombfell.com slash J. What is it? What do you think it is? Bonfire. It's the show. And really, you're going to look so good. You're like, I got to let the world see this. I'm going to run out there. Get me a car. They won't even let you leave the lot. 
that. No. Nope. Unless you get some car insurance. Yeah, that's And you know it's been reported law. that Americans are overpaying on car insurance by over $21 billion. But searching for a better deal can take hours. And typically it results in a barrage of unwanted spam calls. I am being the victim of that right now. Yeah, Dan, a lot I'm of spam. Looking around, a lot of spam. Don't sign but up for health insurance, now. then you get spammed. Thanks to the Zebra.com. The Zebra.com is the nation's leading car insurance comparison site because it's the only place you can compare hundreds of policies from all the top carriers and choose the best for you. Plus, they'll never sell your information to the spammers, so you won't get all those unwanted calls or emails. You just answer a few questions on a simple, fast form, and they find you the best rates and coverage in your state. Uh... TechCrunch said it best when they called it the kayak for auto insurance. It's quick, it's easy, an honest way to compare car insurance quotes from all of the top providers all at once. So go today and start saving at thezebra.com slash bonfire. That's thezebra.com slash bonfire, spelled T-H-E-Z-E-B-R-A dot com slash Dan. Bonfire. Boom. And that's how you catch up. And now we don't have to do our commercials. So now we can have fun time. Yeah. Because that's what it was, guys. You know, Sirius XM, we get to lot of ha- have it to have a lot of fun here. Also, a lot of paperwork. I mean, do you know the it's things... It's like when cops fire guns. It's like you're going to just be in a mountain of paperwork. They're stalling us from talking. I mean, the things that are going on today. Lou, Lou's going to be late. He's going to be late tomorrow because he has to go to How inclusion training. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get sensitive? It's, everyone has to do it, but I mean, I, I'm sure even the use. blacks. <laughs> I, I'll let you know how many. How, many how about the, the gays class. and the trans? Do can they you, have to be there? I'll yeah, take can, a survey. I'll make see a who's stink. In there. Can you racist your way out like jury duty? <laughs> <laughs> can you be like, oh, goes, no, if no. they're trans, I won't work with them. <laughs> they they uh, You're excused. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna go have a smoke. <laughs> he goes. He goes uh, anyone outside of a Christian white male is an abomination towards God. <laughs> they go. Yeah, you, you can't be in this inclusion class. And I'm gonna get a class. He goes. Where's the teacher? Or is it this broad? Uh, well, yeah, we, please, was, we need you to leave. Sorry, I don't listen to chicks. <laughs> uh, yeah, what did you learn from inclusion training? I learned... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I learned... Blah, my, blah, blah. my meatloaf is suffering uh, for all my opinions. Because you're a <laughs> cunt. <laughs> uh, Jacob, try, Jacob tries to get out of it by doing it, but he half steps, so he can't get out. He goes, because I think you're a black bitch. And she's like, sit down. You're doing two of these. <laughs> Jacob gets fired. Stupid black bitch. <laughs> well, that didn't scare me, <laughs> but it did make me realize you need this class double. <laughs> no, no. How did Lou? Sorry, I mean you're my black queen. I, I fetishize black women. Uh, Lou, Lou just fucking gets away with it. Just walks in and he goes, "Hey, who's uh, who's got who's the blouse hounds over here? <laughs> yeah. Look at these. Who's the heavy chested fucking? Yeah, who's the rug head in the suit? <laughs> whoa. whoa, 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 sir. We will be asking you to leave. Yeah, all right, cool. Peace. <laughs> uh, I've been working here, guys. Remember for ten years. What if he taught it? What if you walked in and it was Pete Dominic, oh, Pete Dominic teaching. teaching it? That'd be so great. Or Fugel sang and he like takes it out on Lou, like summer school, uh, bonfire summer school. Pete, can I ask you what uh what gives you the credentials to teach this class? Uh, I've been working here, guys. Remember for ten years. I thought that was an I go to Atlanta oh. all the time. No, I was going to say, do you think your curriculum would exist outside of New York? Like, would it work in the South? I go to Atlanta all the, all the time. time. Okay, so you probably know. <laughs> you probably know what it's like. <laughs> you probably got it, uh, dude. Man, I can't wait to hear stories from the inclusion. I hope oh, there's my God. There tales, it is. tales from the inclusion. Tales from the inclusion. Everyone is the same. <laughs> So they come and they bring people in, right? Yeah, it's like a program. It's kind of like, a, I guess how Mike had the bullying. Yeah, thing bully busters. Do they say nice pants? Why do they wear them up to your tits? That's one of my favorite lines in South Park ever. No. Was, no. <laughs> well, they should. Uh, dude, what if Jay and I pitched a fake... We teach it? Inclusion course. Oh, my God. That we, we can make up. Where we're like, hi. But we'd have to make up names. Like Brett and Now, Evan. when Brett you see Evan, a new black coworker. You will be compelled to try to touch their hair. Listen. Don't. Hi. It's Brett. They hate that. Yeah. Also, don't walk with your hand in a cupped formation. <laughs> like you're trying to feed them. If they are Asian, they will take this as a sign of disrespect. Actually, everyone will. Inclusion training and diversity training for health care. I mean, we do recruiting and selection. Increasing cultural competencies to drive business results. What that means is... We make it feel a little less uncomfortable to work with a Mexican. Hi, I'm Brett, and this is my partner, Dave, and we're here to teach you about inclusion. 
unconscious bias training. Now, you're going to want to ask some of your Asian co-workers if they wouldn't mind teaching your children karate. Now, don't. There's different divisions of karate. It's just ignorant racism on top of it. You don't know what style they could because teach. You do not want to ask a Japanese man to teach you uh, Taekwondo, which is Korean. That is the Korean art. It, he goes, Japanese, you're going ninjutsu. <laughs> That's Say it with me now. Nin ninjutsu. <laughs> Lou's writing it down. Ninjutsu. ninjutsu. Got it. Inclusion and diversity training for all employees. The Can We Talk series. Can you please click on the Can We Talk series? This is a real thing, just by the way. Know, I'm just starting to read. White women will be complaining. If you've ever been in a swamp with an alligator, that's the energy that any white woman will take to you <laughs> in their break room. That's their swamp. <laughs> the, break the break room are white women's swamps, and they will fucking bite into you and death roll. They Sorry, Brett's going through a divorce. <laughs> That bitch, the elephant we can't see. Let's play this video. There's an invisible elephant? Oh, dude, look at that smart sweater on that black guy. Hell yes, that guy's never... Oh, a judge? A lady judge? No, that's just I a... am the law. That's not a judge, I don't think. Oh, she's just got I a fucking... she just has an old lady outfit on. Well, I'm sorry, you know what? That wasn't very I You think they're all judges. Let's try to watch this with a woke eye. I don't, I don't know if we should be watching this. This is kind of a... Uh... Jacob, what's the ruling? It's on the website. It's on a website. Yeah. This isn't like the, it's on this YouTube. Isn't the Sirius XM internal thing. This yeah. is just a oh, company okay. that does inclusion training. Oh, Lou, by, can I tell you right now that Jacob's energy right now is Dad trying to fix stuff while a birthday party is happening. <laughs> like we're, all, in his pockets. we're all running around, but he's he's like on the phone. Where he goes, yeah, no, no. Shh. Restarted it, but doesn't seem to be doing anything. Are we on air? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Christine. He's not saying anything. I know, hold on. But what he does. Okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> 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 just, uh, everyone getting silent. Jacob just, 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 just did the. Why? Why? But, but by the way, he had the phone with his, his finger in it, and he took his finger out of his ear and moved the receiver away from his face and went, What? <laughs> yeah, hey, Mr. Germs, what are you going to do with that ear after you just got done? You're touching your brain in there, dude. You've hit the spongy gray matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna change your personality, dude. Damn, dude. You got an earworm now. Your second knuckles in there. You're lucky Kong ain't coming after you. Sure, oh, sure. sure. Yeah, whatever makes you sleep at night. Yeah, let me, oh, yeah, look, this is me taking my thumb off. Whoa. <laughs> hey, look. Oh no, look, Jacob. I got my nose. Jacob, look. Oh, no. oh my nose. My nose is in my finger. Oh, I gotta put it back on my face. All right, All right go ahead. Let's see specifically right here what, what, see what, what DJ Lou is gonna have to deal with. Yeah, and let's see how ignorant Jay and I are. Hang up. Pretty, pretty good. Can We Talk is our special series of conversations that provide opportunities to strengthen teams and build inclusion. The that chick's pretty fuckable for her age. Well, and toss her back for being so, uh, so old. Dude, her reading this, we'll tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter. Uh, but she's a very, a, a lot of bad hand job because a lot of jewelry on the fingers, I feel Oh, like. you feel it's a fucking ring. And it's going to be old, like brassy rings that are going to really yeah, catch, really I think what's pubes. I think what's going to make you really stand at attention is seeing the strong forearms she's got. That's going to be very veiny. Yeah, it's going to be very veiny. Vascular. And just, just staring at opal rings. Things. Yeah, a lot of turquoise in this hand. A cameo, job. maybe. Yeah. Conversations that use storytelling, followed by interactive, engaging, and skill building training. Wait a second, this chick's not going to tell stories, is she? I don't know, but she's looking at the camera. She's reading the cue cards, but it makes her look blind. <laughs> like her, with the angle she's looking at, where she's like, I don't see color. I don't see anything. I was hit by a baseball in the temple when I was seven years old. <laughs> I can't see. It was lights out for Linda. <laughs> what do you remember? He goes, the sky is blue, but what is blue? What is blue? <laughs> oh, I've never met an Asian or never seen what they actually look like. Have you ever tried to describe blue to somebody? <laughs> do you know what it's like to meet a Mongolian by rubbing their face? <laughs> they never like the guess, even if I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> if they get mad if they, if you can see them, imagine when you can't see them. All right, go back. What's this? What's this uh, dipshit say? <laughs> what's this, what's this thing about? What are they filming this in a fucking you. stairwell? Why is the sound <laughs> shit? <laughs> Value like it's really the way the letters come in is really fancy. So I've seen Jolly Cat videos of better production. 
Uh, fucking, what is she trying to throw together a fucking sketch she wrote on the weekend? Jesus, have some care. Get a sound guy. I'm a jolly jolly cat. <laughs> I'm a jolly. <laughs> All right. What is the elephant we can't see? I think it's something that's fairly apparent. Is this guy's toupee? <laughs> <laughs> it's the fact that fucking this dude's definitely bald. <laughs> What's uh, the elephant in the room? The plugs? Yeah, is it your unnatural hairline? Do you have to include people who have plugs and wigs? No. Yeah. Oh. Ew, no. no. I can't go. Yeah, yeah, I can't go. Dude, that's the ultimate test of inclusiveness. I'm getting, kid out. I'm getting kicked out. Wig men. Okay. <laughs> I can't take a wig guy. Come on. Fuck, that's my one thing I won't include. Maury's wigs. Hurricane wins. Is it Morty's or Maury's? Maury. Maury, yeah, when he jumps reverse in the pool. Maury's wigs are tested against. Maury's wig. All right, keep going with this fucking guy. This is clearly a wig, right? Yes, it's something pretty obvious that's being ignored. It's like everybody knows his thing. <laughs> I say, you gremlin. You uh, don't feed after me. <laughs> it looks like a gremlin in a wig. <laughs> Are you not allowed to say that? <laughs> Is that not inclusive? You don't get with that. <laughs> don't go it. <laughs> no, don't. Tommy, don't be dead. We'll go back. In the jungle, the lion man walks along the jungle. <laughs> Drink this magical hot chata. <laughs> it will bring you to. I always put that on Insta story. Uh, That's yeah, gonna should. be yeah. It's a hit play. Think about it. <laughs> Please go back. <laughs> Who is that? Is that Macho Camacho? <laughs> the jungle eat the man. It's like the one. She's the woman that warns you about predator. <laughs> she's like, they come every year. The, the jungle come alive. You don't. <laughs> he goes, you don't believe. He goes, you, you don't. see for uh, those days. <laughs> yeah, I could see it out there, Billy. I just take my shirt off and start cutting my chest. Because we don't want to acknowledge that it exists, we just don't know how. What? What What's the elephant? Here. Yeah. It gets bigger. What happens? On the job, it can negatively impact productivity. Wait, go back, go back a bunch. And now just assume when they're talking the which talking about the elephant is yeah. we keep going it's the it's the, <laughs> the make it dick. Okay. Make it wait, but can you also make it sound like they're talking about one specific guy's dick? Yeah. Like like Hank's dick. Yeah, like Hank. Hank after, from accounting. This is the week after the pool party and everyone's like, dude, Hank has uh, his suit clung to it. Yeah, dude. It scared right. my kid. Now play, watch right. right from from after her. Yeah, after after Judge Judy. What's the elephant we can't see? I think it's something that's fairly apparent, but it isn't being addressed. Yes, it's something pretty obvious that's being ignored. <laughs> It's like everybody knows it's there, but doesn't say anything about it. <laughs> dick? Yeah. What we don't address about the dick. Because we don't want to acknowledge that it exists. <laughs> we just don't know how. What happens when we don't address the dick? It gets bigger. <laughs> oh, no. On the job, it can negatively impact productivity and cooperation. Yeah, big old dick walking around. Actor, author Michael Fosberg begins the workshop by telling his own story about a difference that made a difference. Wait, go back. It's as by the way, why choose that picture of all things? Yeah, the crazy fucking totalitarian it's picture. Like, I'm living out loud. And that looks like she goes, he, this is cult leader. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm Adams, he has, he's responsible for over 15 deaths in the San Fernando Valley. Mass suicides. Lou's been ducking this, Lou's been ducking this for years. All I right, whoa, Jacob, when the, did you uh, get, I was down back in the 90s. The training. The he's training? been able to get out of it for years. Lou, that's what I like about Lou, he's untrained, <laughs> man. He just, he, <laughs> fucking he, feral. He did a smart thing, he just never responded to the emails. Because I'm not racist. <laughs> Hell yeah. Jacob goes, if I don't respond to this, am I racist? Am but I finally racist? Finally, they called him. A little sexist, though. A little sexist. I turned myself in. They didn't catch me. I'm not going to let some dingbat tell me who I have to include. He goes, when I see your mister at the bottom of that email, I shall respond. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, a Ms. or a Mrs., take it up with uh, your, your gentleman co-worker. <laughs> Oh, shit, sorry. Hello. Begins the workshop by telling his own story about a difference that made a difference. It's as if I were a large jigsaw puzzle. 
Oh, what the, if, you get to, if you get to see this guy tomorrow, that's awesome. Wait, go back. Start that sentence again. It's as if I were a large jigsaw puzzle. It's as Wait, if pause I, it. And, pause it. A, we could play, you know, like Howard Stern, they cut up the audio books and stuff to make things. Mm -hmm. If you just stop after they're uh, in the middle of the word jigsaw, it's such a racist thing he just said. <laughs> <laughs> go back. Start it over again. Made a difference. It's as if I were a large jigsaw puzzle. Oh. And then he just goes, now how do you handle that, Whites? They go, Whoa. <laughs> oh. Whoa, sassy theater teacher. I don't need to hear this. Oh, no. no. And, and there was this one piece missing. I don't even know if it's a significant piece or not, but I know I need to find it to complete the picture. I'm going to try to find him. What? Why do you want to do that? You have a father, John Fosberg. He is your father. He did raise you. I dude, is this guy I, doing theater? Oh, uh, yeah. dude, you have the to fact, watch theater, Lou. Dude, you have to this watch this guy. You have to watch a one-man show for diversity training. Oh, this is hilarious. God. This is better. This is better than anything that they could write. <sighs> they make you watch a guy go, huh? Growing up in Pittsburgh in 1968 wasn't as easy as it looks on paper. <laughs> I was the son of you. Yeah. Yeah. Benny, he goes, time to come in for dinner. He goes, that's that my, was my dad. That's my dad. I better run. If I didn't run fast enough, I'd pay for it. <laughs> Follow me. I grew up in every neighborhood. Lou's going, I just want a Marlboro. I don't want to sit here. I just want to. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Can I disguise a smoke break as a bathroom break? Oh, I'm taking a smoke break. I hope he asked you so many personal questions. Who's who's gone to the bathroom in front of their parents? Number two, <laughs> because they made them for their allowance. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa. <laughs> Lou, there's no smoke break. It's two hours of you interacting. Like they put you, you in groups and they give you a a story. You can always you find to, a way. Lou, you walk out, girl goes. She goes. I'm sorry. There's no break story. This. You go. <laughs> Let a woman tell me. I can't take a break. <laughs> okay. All right. For men. For hey, men I'll do that. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll start doing CrossFit too today. Maybe I'll change everything. You have to work. Who's your out. god? Choose what? <laughs> Who is your god? Choose your destroyer. <laughs> I'll fake an asthma attack. Ah, oh, that's fucking great. And then a click. Hello? Son, <laughs> there's a couple of things you should know I'm sure your mother's never told you. Oh my God. It's a pretty racist Jewish accent. Well, like what? Well, but you know, we were in World War II. <laughs> we escaped Poland on a boat. <laughs> What's his reveal? The waters were rocky. What's his reveal? You gotta come. Now you gotta buy a ticket. Oh, dude, a little move over. I'm coming with you. <laughs> you gotta buy a ticket now. Who's this dude? guy? Who's this fucking this who's the guy at the end? Mm. It ain't over yet. Hang on. He looks like a computer you're going, salesman. You're running away from all these things. Who's this computer salesman at the end? That's a good laptop you're looking at. Check out to him? Yeah. Who's this inner city music teacher? <laughs> he goes, I have the kids. So there's home. this big pink elephant in the room. We're not talking about the elephant, but it's getting in our way sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. But the elephant is in the room. Dick? So, hey, let's talk. Okay. Wait, I'll go back a little bit, please. I want to hear the things she says. Can we... Re <clears throat> I'd rather watch that John Panette clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we watch John Panette? <laughs> so she goes... Workshop participant then has the opportunity to think about their training. own stories. What helped to create them? How to share them? What the fuck is the microphone she's wearing? Is it two cans and a string? Other experiences. Yeah. For individual, team, and organization. She's like a success. fucking broke rapper doing it She's in the bathroom. Everything. In yeah. the shower stall. Hard out here for a pal. That's it, Linda. That's your voice. She goes, Diversity training. And you're going, you're going to love me. The elephant we can't see workshop. The elephant can help we can't attendees see. find common ground. And remove judgments oh my God, that dude. can hinder or Are they going to make you talk to a black person and find common ground? You better have the that those outside Teaneck, New Jersey things in the chamber, man. I'm just here to fuck. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would, lead, to fuck. I would lead with that. <laughs> I would go in and go, I'm here to fuck. And I got who, two black Bumble dates this week, so who's diverse now, motherfucker? Maybe oh, also yeah. open with that. He's striking out with the whites. He brought a, he brought a girl He brought a girl to my, uh, open with that. He brought a girl to my, on my show on Saturday in New Jersey, and then she ended up getting finger blasted by an old fucking salty bartender. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a down chick, dude. Yeah, I thought she was a good one. She was not. Down with the bartender. No, oh, dude. That's a that's straight. That's a Lou, bike, Lou was, that's a biker mama. Lou was kicking it with real like I'm at least getting my dick sucked on the ride home. <laughs> confidence. Dude, I was, there's I was. nothing funnier than blowing a sure thing. Yeah. Dude, the, girl, the, the lady who runs the lady who runs bananas knew Lou. Yeah, got all excited and then the, that girl was less than interested. <laughs> yeah, dude. She, she goes even the show was over. She was kind of like it was good. <laughs> no, I go, no, that's the comedian that was just up there. But she was laughing heavily at you and Fenoya, though. That's funny. She goes, so she does everything heavily. Yeah. Whoa. Cox. No, um, why don't yell it up? We're on your team. We're Team Lou, buddy. Yeah, dude, I'm no, Team no, Lou. I'm saying she does heavily, heavily amount of cocks. Oh, yeah, 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 a lot of cocks. Dick? Yeah, but I'm not your cock. <laughs> Dick? <clears throat> nope. I remember being younger and, and like, um, liking a girl and finding out that she had fucked a couple of my friends. Jesus. And you're like, no, it's the grossest feeling. It's the you're just like, oh fuck. Well, I was with my twin brother Stu, and she went into the bat. She went into the kitchen to say goodbye to the bartender, and uh, we we were just watching, and we were in disbelief. Both of our mouths were hung open as she he pushes her head towards his head and starts forcing her to make out, and then all of a sudden she gets up on her tippy toes and goes with it, and then so me and my brother leave and discuss it. We're gonna ditch her, and she comes out all sad, and well, I actually said to her, I'm like, Peanut, what are you doing? Like, now we can't hang out with you because you're a fucking slob. Yeah. She's like, no, nah, I didn't do anything, and then we... Oh. Just, it's so, so heartbreaking. Yeah. This happened... At Jay's show, like after, right after Jay's show, he made her make out with him. Yeah, and then, she, and then she went with it. And you, why don't you help? Yeah, I, that's what I said. I'm like, so there was a crime. Did well, I? Did it wasn't I witness make a crime? her. I'd yeah. say make her is a. She wouldn't have been on her tippy toes, toes trying to reach his his face. I mean, I couldn't stare at it. It's like staring into. I was like hold up in court. She was on her tippy toes, Your Honor. He goes, dismissed. <laughs> well, why, don't just, why don't you just get stand? Hell, like, do me a favor. Get the hell out of here. Stop wasting every time. Why don't you just stand flat? Yeah. <laughs> the way you're telling it, she was forced to make out with a guy, and then you and your brother were like, well, now you're a pig, and yeah. we can't love you. you are I thought you were going to let us double team you. You are tainted, you whore. You're some slut who just meets a guy and really likes him and kisses him? He lifts you like a grizzly bear and then forces you into his face? Well, Your right. Honor, on the way home in the, in the Uber, she had one hand on my ears trying to do the tickly tickly, and then one hand on my brother's ear, trying to get him into a twin. With Are twin you sure it was happening, or was she do, was she touching one of your ears, but you both feel it? Oh, Tomax Zamon, Lou and Ool. They were the first call that fucking Cobra Commander made, and he went, "I I don't need. I mean, they're cool. I want to hang out with them, but I just I don't know." Dude, Lou and Ool, Lou and Ool. Lou, would you would you do a threesome with your brother and the girl? Ooh. No, Jacob, I'm straight. That's not gay. That's not gay, dude. Feels it. It's Family. A, it's a carbon copy, That's dog. Worse than gay. <laughs> Why is it gay? Are you gonna? You don't have to kiss him. Yeah. I love it when a guy compliments my <laughs> butt. <laughs> Are there <twins laughs> clips to? D- 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 <laughs> that sounds gay to me. <laughs> What's gay about? That ain't gay. Dude. You, with your brother. With your brother. With your twin brother. I haven't seen him naked since. I don't want to since the womb. I don't want to see him. Naked. Why is seeing him naked gay? What's no, not is gay? Is it gay or is it incest? I don't. It's, you watch porn. It's a mind fuck. I don't want to see my twin brother nude porking a girl. Yeah, true. But don't look at him. Who do I look at? You. Her. Which looks do like him. Do I really him. have to tell you this? Maybe you do need this training. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's going to be a lot of obvious information here in this training, but Lou's like, what, then where am I doing? No, it's gay. What do I have to do? I have to fuck his butt, right? <laughs> like, no, dude. You could do stuff to the girl. What I can only stare at his dick. <laughs> this is a whole naked girl. What about soft kisses on his neck to make him finish faster? So what? And I got to rub his head, and I know what he likes. Then I got to fucking tweak his nips so this counterclockwise. Chick's this chick's here? <laughs> By the way, when you when we were talking about... Lou, oh, sorry, miss. I, uh, did I put, sorry, I didn't even put my knee on your chest. I didn't even realize you were here. Oh, I thought I was man. doing gay naked stuff with my brother. <laughs> I'm not a pleasant, graceful comer. Well, all right, that's that's fair to say. Uh, when she Jake, throws, she throws formed punches though. <laughs> Jacob's energy when you go like, uh, yeah, we, you know, she made out with the bartender. Jacob goes. At Jay's show, but it was more like people go out later. No, than he's, that. he's on a date with her. I yeah. Like, oh, at Jay's show. Oh, so you didn't know that me, they I'll went out. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go make and out. Then with she goes and makes <laughs> out with a guy. Come on, I need 
needed some yeah. explanation. Yeah. What is the person? Lou made it sound like he goes, I go to the bathroom, I turn around, she's gone, making out with the bartender in the kitchen. No, comes she up. said, excuse me for a moment. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Did she say excuse me? She was just saying goodbye. We were waiting for her to say goodbye, and all what of a sudden weird, she got sucked a, into the kitchen. She said, was it like a, was it her was friend's she, bar? Were you there because she it knew was the bartender? It was my friend's bar, my friend of 20 years. And, and he made out with her? Yeah, he's a fucking scumbag. He has three kids, too, and he's 15. He's a ginger. What a gremlin. Whoa. Is he married with three kids, <laughs> or does he just have three kids? Not anymore. I'm saying his name. <laughs> you're throwing away You're throwing away, your 20, you're throwing away 20 years of friendship? Because... <laughs> I guess so, for a girl that wasn't a date anyway. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. She goes, uh, now you're th- talking sense. All right. But wait a second. He. So then she did leave with you guys. You didn't ditch her. I tried to ditch her, but she came out. She just runs fast. <laughs> and then I tried to ditch her. She's just. She's fucking. <laughs> he goes, that closing speed is bananas. <laughs> the Uber was taking forever. <laughs> he goes, go 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 go. She's running alongside so she the got, car. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah. Let me in. Fucking T two. Go faster. What, it's just her part of her nail yeah. is on it. <laughs> you have to get um, rid of all of it. Do you? Uh, so she got in the Uber with you afterwards, and then did the ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so then that's I'd hilarious. <laughs> so that guy got her all horned up. You guys should double teamed her. I don't like to be the last guy to get her. But uh, what do you mean? They just made out. I know, but just uh, it's gross. What, you thought- jump in the air, mouth fucker. Uh, yeah, maybe you're right. I don't know why I fell in love with her. No, Lou falls. Lou's got such a big heart. Oh, Lou's in love? Not no, anymore. Not anymore. But no, the girl wants to get double teamed by this. She was just trying to turn you on. Lou, she knew you were going to be watching her because she didn't oh. think you saw her that way. So she was like, maybe if I make out with this guy, he'll no, see me as sexy. By making what, out with your friend. What a garbage save. <laughs> what a garbage save. <laughs> oh. Oh. Garbage girl, she made, she made out. She made out with a fucking a, Rhett, a Daryl bartender. She's all redheaded up. So Lou, I think he sees back. me as a bro. How do I turn it? Yeah. <laughs> you got back from the Uber, and then what happened after that? Nothing gay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gay, if that's, that's what you're where, thinking. That's, is that where your fucking stupid is gay mind is going? Is that where you're going with this? Gross. What are you doing? You're saying there's something gay? I don't know where this is going. <laughs> no, that was it. She fucked you know what? He you and your she... brother jerked off ass to ass? <laughs> <laughs> we were appalled. We're like, can you believe that? <laughs> Yeah, you, you, know where she, you know where she was? She Ubered right back to the last location. Yo, and just I, getting, getting piled off by that ginger guy. She went, hey, Paul Bunyan. Yeah. I'm, I'm friends with her on... Uh, hey, Freckles. <laughs> I'm friends with her. I've connected with her on Bumble so you can tell where people's whereabouts are. You can tell their location. Weird. She was like two towns over where she doesn't live uh, right after that. So. Oh, man. She called in. She went to the bullpen. <laughs> it's got to go somewhere. Some guy got a fucking text that he was like, oh, man, she's all horned up. I wonder if she was with two twins. Why did you throw it up? Your emotions were hurt because you liked her. Yeah. Oh. Why do you like the girl that everyone bangs? I don't, I don't know. know. I, don't know. I was talking about that because I've been in that situation and it fucking sucks. So when we, everyone like, bangs? We, dude, there's this girl in high school that I liked <laughs> so much. I've told the story on this show and she... Like sent videos of her masturbating to this other kid that she liked, and he like showed everybody, and you just have to be like, yeah, no, that's cool. It's fucking wow. I love her. Yeah, it's like oh, she's ready. She's just down to go. Huh? Well, I wasn't like thing. in remember love I with told, her, but I really liked her. Remember that was, was like, a thing oh, when yeah. I told you. I told Janessa mean things a guy said because I wanted to like because uh, I wanted her to like me. And yeah. all it did was just destroy her day. Oh Jesus! <laughs> and she's like, mm. and, the guy think and they make that guy me. think I'm a jerk off, yeah, which I like, was. Yeah, he's like, fuck you, loser. So what are you doing, man? What'd you tell her that for? It's like guy talk. I'm like, right. <laughs> <laughs> totally was. I had much more of. I was, I was like, what's up? Are we gonna go? We do it. And he was like, no, man. It just it like, hurt. sucks. You did that. And I'm like, it does suck. I did that. Yeah, I guess I should shut my fucking mouth. I was so lame. He's ready why didn't you him? just throw, why didn't you just throw because that's what I'm saying you were too upset to even just like whip it and go for like the Hail Mary yeah. get laid or just even like get a beach catch a beach you know on the other side of the room for your brother I think I still would have if she didn't go with absolutely everybody like if she, she didn't, didn't go with anybody if she, she didn't just try was to, open to go with yeah everybody. but if she didn't hit on my brother simultaneously with me what did you guys say when she started touching your ears? Was that acknowledged oh, in the cab? Oh, was that one of those laugh things? Oh, I or know. Or do you start like... I, you both start... Oh, I know. What is... I don't know what's happening. We both... Yeah, we both say... <laughs> yeah. It's just two of those. Two of those laughs. And what was it? <laughs> That's our spot. That's our spot. <laughs> And the time oh. between like feeling it and then yeah. realizing that she was also doing it to him. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, would, I, would imagine, boners. Yeah. I would imagine it would be more of an efficient way to start that would just be two thigh rubs. Just, just you know, get the firewood going. I remember we both looked at each other like, that's not how you get us. Yeah. Talk Pearl Jam. Touch her dick. She goes, yeah. oh my God. She goes, Vitology is so much better than 10. <laughs> and what did you do? Do you want to come over and, and do what shots? Did you, what did you do? Did you go home and go right to bed? 
Yeah. Wow. Well, well, you know, in a lot of people's bedrooms, <laughs> bedtime can be complicated, especially as the weather begins to cool. While one person sleeping soundly, on the other one is either freezing or way too hot. I had a True. hot one last night. A weird. You got hot. Christine was bundled up, and I got uh, I got hot. We fell asleep on the couch. Oh, it was uh, it was awful. Yeah, that's why I said got to get in the bed, man. Bowl and Branch Sheets, makers of the world's most comfortable sheets, loved by three U.S. presidents, are now offering their luxury flannel bedding for a limited time at BowlandBranch.com. They're unbelievably soft, warm, and breathable, so everyone stays is the right temperature. Our flannel sheets come in 14 stunning patterns and colors, so you're guaranteed to find a style you'll love. Plus, you can try them for 30 nights risk-free. That's right, risk-free. But whatever you do, don't wait. Last year, their flannel sheets sold out in just a few weeks. So go to BowlingBranch.com today for $50 off your first set of sheets, plus free shipping. That's right now at BowlingBranch.com, promo code BONFIRE. BowlingBranch.com, spelled B-O-L-L and Branch.com, promo code on fire. Mm. Huh? Ah! Double it down, dude. Double it down. This is a, this isn't Rick Cross. That's my arch nemesis, burglary. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been a real burglary of our time. I'm getting better. Burglary. Burglary. I like cracking out the commercials like this. When yeah, we're this is fun. Behind. I mean, I know the, the listeners are like, "Wow!" But it's fucking. We got 15 minutes taken off because fucking. You know. And now you know. What's this? Mm. Uh. You don't have to play music. To- uh. <laughs> no, dude, plays jaunty music. Yeah, thousands of people affected by California wildfires urgently need support. Your donation can help the American Red Cross meet emergency needs. Provide shelter and give hope to these families. Please donate today. Go to redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS to donate to California wildfires. Your support is critical. We can't do it without you. Um, it looks yeah, terrifying. That's, yeah, it's no bullshit. Uh, help out if you can at uh, 1-800-RED-CROSS or redcross.org. You know, just this people's houses and shit are being burnt up all, all over the state of California. Northern Northern the last California. 7,000 structures. Jesus Christ. There's like, a, the displacement is insane. 250,000 people losing their homes. And my grandma lives north of San Francisco and just fire country. Just yeah. that, that's all getting burnt up. Most stuff Was that this bad when you were growing up there, Christine? There were, I mean, you, I remember hearing about fires, but they're saying these fires are worse, like the worst ones there have ever been. Thank God, but, man, thank God man bear pig isn't real. <laughs> but there were times when it's like it almost feels like the city's raining ash on you and it's just very sticky air. When I go there, it's raining ass on me. Ah, we're back to it. We're fun. You know, <laughs> disasters can't keep Jay out from getting some scooch when he's in the sunny <laughs> state. A little smoking to stop me from getting some of that snizooch. <laughs> yeah. um, no, man, it really is like, fuck, I had to call friends out there that I was like, is everybody okay? Yeah, it's fucking nuts, man. It's, uh, it's Gerard just- Butler. Sarah Silverman. Uh, I think both of them got fucked. I mean, those aren't the friends I called. Yeah. But I'm but saying those... Uh, that sucks, man. You're they sh- show pictures of their thing. Like, Gerard Butler's, like, his, sh- his house is a shell. He's uh, just burnt down. Sarah Silverman was the other one I think I saw. Good uh, God. I thought you were saying good. You're no. Good. I got no. 300 was garbage. <laughs> My parents are there. They, said they couldn't go out of the house because the smoke is so bad. Yeah. Like the kids can't leave the house. The, so that, the, My n- parents are that they're watching my their grandkids. They can't go out because it's so bad, the, the smoke. Where are your, where, where's your uh, parents at? In California? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. That's fucking... Uh, yeah, the Niner game last night, the air quality was getting like to the point that they're like, it's bad right now. Like, they're, like the, the air quality in Santa Clara, which is, you know... Over 100 miles away. It's Jesus. Not, I mean, LA, it, it looks like the apocalypse when you see pictures of it. Yeah. You're like, how is... But I think you have 50,000 homes are evacuated. What are they ultimately going to do? Like, what's the solve? You just talk the fire down. <laughs> you go, what are you doing this, dude? Come on, man. Come on. 7,000 buildings displace more than 50,000 people, so not 250,000. Jesus. Paradise in Butte County. The whole town is gone. Ah, oh, Fuck. It's like people, Jesus. It really sucks. I don't know if you've ever been there before, but that county was a uh, butte. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, was, <laughs> what if a broadcaster did that during the news? Yeah. They go, coming in. This look. place used to be a uh, butte. All right, Andrew, you're fired. You have to go to, <laughs> you inclu- have to. You have to go to inclusion, inclusion class. Inclusion classes. Yeah, you got to go see a one man's. Jesus, the oh car's driving God. away in the mountains, and the hills are just on fire. I mean, you looks like you're in an apocalypse mode. Yeah. Yeah. 50, 000, 57,000 buildings are still at risk. 
fuck, man. Yeah. That's Give to the Red sucks. Cross. Yeah. Because yeah. people yeah, really I'm are. Tweeting. I'm oh, tweeting. Oh, statewide, it's 150,000 people. <clears throat> More than 220 missing. So, yeah. yeah. Please give. Yeah, I mean, go to one eight. Call one eight hundred Red Cross. The or, picture I've never seen yeah, the redcross dot org. The the way the beach looks with the smoke billowing in. Yeah. That's something I never. It's fucking like, terrifying, saw. man. My grandma got evacuated earlier this year with the car fires and uh, up in Northern California, and it was fucking crazy because it was like she lives right on the lake, so you're like you're by water, and they're telling you like, yeah, you could fucking burn down. <laughs> you're by water. Get in the get water. In it. <laughs> Stay in Nana, it. Nana, get, get in the water. Damn, I can't doggy paddle that long. <laughs> Back float, woman. Nana, you went to co Coast Guard training. Come on. You, you remember, remember when you were afraid that the Japanese were going to bomb you in Peepaw? <laughs> remember how they made you do all those swim drills? Yeah, it's Member? Fucking. Member berries. Uh, Lou, I'm sorry your date didn't work out. But you got two on. You got two. And now with your. It could have worked out, dude. It could have worked out. I, know, I don't think it could have. I, I wasn't looking at it the right way. I needed. I needed you. It You're saying out. change his perspective, and it would have worked out. Yeah. This girl wasn't. This girl was looking for dick that night. Looking for dick, not looking for love. It's the Lewitsky story. Did your brother want her too? No, he was just as appalled as I was. <gasps> no, but was I he? Am, but what you? You have appalled the Witsky brothers. But when she <laughs> when she rubbed you, does she know both of you for a long time? No, this is only the second time we've hung out. Oh, okay, man, zero to sixty. Was he a Bumble date? No, but I saw her on Bumble, and sometimes you just swipe right just to say hello to the people you know. Sure. And then we just got to talking about how she couldn't get any dates. Everybody just wants to fuck. I should have known right there. Oh, she played her hand early. I didn't know. I was like, oh, that's just her beating all down on herself. Well, you got to find a couple who just wants to fuck. A couple? I'm not a swinger. No, not. <laughs> you met oh, a couple people. A couple, a single? A couple of broads, too. <laughs> because I'm not looking for a married guy and a woman that can reach me at lewitskyhotdog at gmail.com. I don't care, but I do prefer my men hairless. Goes, I don't care. Sure, am I willing to be a piece of bread and a sandwich if the woman is bucks me and uh, energetic? Lou, what is your type? Because you have a pattern going after monsters. Whores? Oh, yeah. No, I mean, they're right. just not good to you. They're like, Jacob, horrible. Uh, Jacob calls Lou Van Helsing behind his back. I think Lou's type is local whore, it seems, no. and then he's always hurt. <laughs> Jacob goes, hey, who are you chasing after tonight, Dracula? <laughs> hey, Van Helsing. <laughs> hey, Van Helsing. Who are you going after the werewolf tonight? <laughs> yeah, what is your type, Lou? Uh, I thought she was, except for uh, she kept porking everyone. No, you can't say that. that she sounds didn't like just get country's... laid all night by different people, did she? That's the message you're sending. She kept fucking everyone? Yeah. She, fuck them, she, she know. wouldn't stop fucking everyone. Yeah. Right, you want to go like, you know that some of these some of these women do go up to that speed. <laughs> like, you know what? Oh. It's weird when you see her in the bar, too. It's like a lot of guys can spot that she'll, she's easy. Like, their eyes light up, and they're all trying to do their best to impress her. Like, guys I know, I'm like, like I brought, like I brought doing a steak. Dances. In, yeah, I brought like a steak in front of a pack of wolves. They go, how do oh, they know? That's, How do they oh, know? Over there. That's like she's a head turner? No, but they just seem to know that they could get her on the spot in the bathroom or whatever. Oh, it's when you know what? It's a measure. It's it's a formula for it. It's a measurement of how much stomach you stuff in the jeans. Mm. <laughs> You go. They walk in. They go. That's that's good. But to go. She, yeah. She just, knew uh, the chef friend of yours, and she's not a chef. A bartender. I don't know. I've Jacob seen. classes <laughs> it up. You're a chef. <laughs> Jacob's like. She was smelling after. Yet? He goes. Was this after the ball or before the ball? <laughs> I don't think they would do that. Did he send an amouche bouche? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a lovely little appetizer? Did he head in the kitchen? Did you get to see the kitchen? A lot of fancy chefs will give you a tour of their so kitchen. this guy had a certain je ne sais quoi. <laughs> yeah. He's a real scumbag. Is that what you'd say? A teenage je ne sais quoi? Yeah. He goes, I'll give you a shot if you let me lick your tongue. Yeah, she's like, Lou, I like guys who've done their own stitches more than once. Yeah. Do you know how to pull a bullet out of your own flesh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a starter pistol to scare off as you call them the unwanted? Well, I'm, no, gonna, no, we're not being I'm, I'm gonna see her again. I got locked into seeing her uh, going to a comedy show with her. So uh, what? How? You're not locked in. You're not locked in. I you're, already promised her. So what? <laughs> she doesn't give a shit anymore, yeah, dude. She's a she's not a small business loan. She's a fucking person that you can just be like, I'm not gonna go out with you. You're right, but I feel bad for her. She's garbage. What? Uh, what? Love her. Well, you're garbage. We're all garbage. We wanted yeah. to be your garbage. All right, so what if should I do? If any of us were good right now, we would be in a nice home with a nice family <laughs> doing a nice job. We're all broken fucking weirdos. How are you like a radio her? show. Okay. 
I'll fucking... Yeah, I should have like three kids by now. Yeah, I should have a new horse in Red Dead Redemption 2. <laughs> All right, I'll put I a don't. silk hat on this pig. Luckily, Christine's willing to fall asleep on a hanger a couple times a year. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that. Jacob goes, I, I'm going to be a shark. What? <laughs> Say, come again. <laughs> I'm a shark. <laughs> I want shark. To, uh, to be. I'm going to pay shark for surgery to give myself gills. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, Lou. I mean, just cancel on her, dude. I bet. Oh, I say tell you. I say say if he likes her, he likes her. Whatever. She made out with a guy. A guy aggressively forced her to make out in the kitchen. Yeah, and Lou, and so Lou, what? She got pirate kissed. Lou sat there and watched. <laughs> yeah. Didn't do anything that seemed like that was a bit aggressive. So funny, he goes to stand up and uh, uh, Stu goes to stand up and Lou goes, oh, no, no. Hey, Lou, how long, when you saw, she went into the kitchen, how many seconds before he just immediately started making out with her? Two. Two seconds. So, which means Wait, they might have communicated it. Good Lord. <clears throat> yeah. But no, because Lou's saying that she... Did not want that, and he made her do it, and then she got into it. Yeah, like an old, like like an old timey romance movie where they're like, "Come here," and she's like, "Ah, ah," and, he and then goes, he kisses her, kiss me, and tell me you don't feel something. Yeah, and she goes, "Damn it! Oh, damn it, Cartwright! Oh, oh, oh you're kissing me!" But instead, I can quit you. Instead, it was Teaneck, New Jersey. He goes, "No, no, no! Let me pull it out my pants. I'm so ready to go, baby. Go, baby, reach down the front there. You can oh, feel it. Oh my God! You, it? you get it? Oh, I am." So just pushing it out, right? Oh, my God. It feels God. weird, right? It's good. I'm going to pop it up. You want to say hi to my friend? Yeah, get it. You want to say to my friend? Get it. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's take our first break. Come back. We have some throttle. guests hanging out with us today. Hell yeah, I got to pee. Then you go pee, everyone. We'll be right back. It's the Bonfire. Woo! And now, back to the Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Hey campers, we just got the hook up with the awesome new security cameras from Blink Home Security. Well, we got hooked up with them a while ago and then gave them away to people we love. You put we them trust. in your mom's house to spy on her, you creep. I didn't do it to spy. I did it for her safety and I don't have the access code, Jay. Why is it super safe for you to see that Robert likes to come over a couple times? His name's not Robert, it's Keith. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy does good work. He, he does a real good... He's a good mechanic. Yeah, he Blinker, wears horizontal stripes a lot, all which right. we all find weird. Yeah, well, now he knows where he keeps the spare key, so he's I not on the, the code. Blade. So he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't trip the wire. Blinker's small motion-activated video cameras, so when they detect any movement, they send an alert to your smartphone. Well, my mom's smartphone, not mine. I'm, I'm not trying to see Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, no, totally. Yeah, Blink Dan, hey, look. Her phone. Huh? <laughs> huh? It syncs right Can up with your smart... With, with her smartphone. Your smartphone, no, right? It's, yeah. Oh, yeah, hers, Your hers, smartphone. Hers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it works right out of the box. And Blink's, uh, wi Blink's cameras are wire-free and run on batteries that last for years. So there's no installation, so you can keep an eye on everything, you whatever it may be. Just checking out your mom for years. No Stop batteries, it. no nothing. I'll st I will put on a wig and murder you in a shower. There's no subscriptions, oh, no contracts. Oh, i buy a subscription to that, buddy. So I'll kill you. <laughs> Here's the deal we got, you campers. You get Blink cameras and systems starting for less than $100. No contracts or subscriptions. Visit blinkprotect.com slash bonfire. That's blinkprotect.com slash bonfire. Blinkprotect.com slash J. What is bonfire. it? Bonfire. Yeah, so let's just move forward. Buddy of mine. Buddy of mine. Buddy of mine. <laughs> this is Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Series XM 95. Big Jokerson, Dan Soder. Hi. Uh, we're breaking down. DJ Lou's inclusion training. Why not bring in mm -hmm. two more funny people to have fun with that? Yeah. There's so much going on. Uh, first to my left, stepped up and fought the Puerto Rican rattlesnake <laughs> in Las Vegas. Yeah. To which Lewis seemed to take more seriously than anybody ever thought someone would take a Ellis Mania fight. He yeah. really trained hard for it. And uh, they went out there and they both fought nobly. And uh, he joins us today from the Danish and O'Neill podcast that he does with Jeff Danis. Everybody's Ryan O'Neill joining us. Gentlemen, thank you very much for having me, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good to have you here, bonfire. man. And joining us again, my long-term roommate now. Yeah. 
Uh, from the goddamn comedy <laughs> jam. F is for family. Josh Adam Myers. Yeah. A- AKA Mike Fanoia's new arch nemesis. <laughs> taking the title from Mike Fanoia. Oh, Mike came over one day too and it was funny to see. Smell each other's butt. Yeah, it's see almost the- like, Mike, can you get, hey Mike, you get out of my room. <laughs> hey Mike, you want to fuck off? I'm trying to take a nap here. He goes, oh cool amigo. I used to sleep in these walls. Mike, what do you do when it gets too hot in the room, man? Goes, oh, Just I don't take know. it off. I don't know, friendo. But these bricks <laughs> sure heard me dream. <laughs> I uh, I was calling Josh's name this afternoon and knocking, you having a nightmare? knocking on his door for him. We having a nightmare? I thought, I'm pretty nightmare. sure he was in there. And I opened the door, and I saw. Uh, I guess he had headphones on because he was meditating. But wa- walking on somebody meditating is like, like finding out they're a robot that you turn on at some <laughs> yeah. point, dude. Because it really was just a whole like it was just such a weird. It's so funny, like, man. Because oh. I ve- I've lived with Vecchione for seven years, Mike Vecchione. Yeah. And the first time I caught him meditating, I couldn't guess what it was. I was like. <laughs> I was like in my apartment. I'm like, what is that sound? You just hear like, <laughs> I, I think that's it's all you he, hear like through the door. Nah, like, yeah. What is it? And then I come in and, and I'm like, hey, Mike, I'm going to go get a sandwich. And he's like, <sighs> and I'm like, okay. And then I come back later. And he's like, yeah, I was meditating. Does, he have, a mantra? Does he, he have a mantra? Does he, I don't know. Do you have a mantra? Uh, you have to like say a thing. He's like, scoonji. <laughs> no, I don't have that something like that, but I do. Uh, it's it's pretty weird that we're both like cool gay? now. Yeah, oh. we're gay. We we fuck. We fuck. We meditate, and then we butt fuck. Well, it's the only thing that's gonna get you through that pain. <laughs> yeah, I go I, like this. Hold on, let me practice my breathing. You gotta find a zen. Place. I don't. I don't do the deep breathing like that. Mine just looks like I'm just like you know Chill. on low power mode. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like tuned down. But uh, I can he see was floating where like Luke Skywalker I, in the tank. <laughs> How long do you do? How long do you go under? Uh, I do. Uh, 22 minutes. Uh, hey, damn. Right. I got deep. I'd rather wor- walk in on somebody jerking off than yeah. meditating, I swear. <laughs> yeah. It's way less awkward. And you know it's going to be over faster. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's like, hold on. I'm almost Actually, there. 22 oh, minutes. I mean, I can help you. I mean, I can help you come. Yeah. I can't help you find a zen place. I don't know where your center is. It takes me 25 minutes to masturbate and come, so, yeah. you know, no, that's my thing. Shaving down time by meditating. I, sp- I spend time on it. Damn, Dude. I feel like a rookie. I only meditate for 15 minutes. I'm going to step my shit up. Step your game up, son. That's so, it's next level. Dude, once you get like 30 minutes deep. Whoa, celebration, guys. We just took the division. <laughs> Did you see that soda fucking pop open? Congratulations, Thanks, guys. Thanks, Black Lou. Whoa. Dude, not on the eve of sensitivity training. Mm, this is because word. of this terrible, awful For being inclusion. Yeah. Also thank In- White Lou. Thank White Lou. You have to equally thank everybody. Also thank Native American Jacob. <laughs> Thank you, Native American Jacob. When the shark rises through the ocean, <laughs> the sea shall become the land, and the land becomes the sea. I've I've never worked a job that I've had to go to some kind of weird seminar like that, but I'd love to. Uh, not work the job, but I'd love to watch a seminar where they just say ridiculous. So he's, he's I, obvious not in, things. He's not in trouble, is he? No, he's just they're he just, just has to do this. They've just heard a lot about him, and they want to yeah. put the face to the name. Yeah, they call him uh, <laughs> American History Lou. <laughs> are they are they taking it seriously, or do you just have to watch the video and be like, "All right, I saw it"? No, it's a whole thing. You got to get involved. You got to do workshops. There's a one man play. Yeah, we watch the video for what's coming up, and they say there's a one man play. There's a keynote speaker. Jesus, there's I, a heavy set sassy black woman. Who stands in the corner and stares right at you? So make sure you're paying attention. To make sure you're not staring at those titties. I like. It. I hope it's like a musical, and they're like, "So you don't pull your dick out unless they say yes. Yeah. Only do it off the clock." Colors <laughs> exist on the outside, not in the office. Let's see. Wait, you said there's a trailer for. Sh- you can't get cum out of carpets. <laughs> can't get cum out of carpets. <laughs> Is there? You said there's a trailer for Snoop Dogg's play. You just hit me with this out of nowhere. This is very exciting. World Star Hip Hop today. Trailer for the live touring play, Redemption of a Dog. <gasps> yes. Is it about his murder great. trial? M- man, I don't know what it's about. Oh, man. He's like, it's, you got to understand. But there's beatings on stage. The LBC was there's a lot a, different when I was growing up. <laughs> oh. Oh, funny. Just, <laughs> he's like, oh, didn't know your whack ass was watching me. Oh, hey. And he <laughs> plays the lead. He's playing no. himself. Is he? Oh yeah! Was, oh yeah, Jesus! Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's about you. Just went by. You went by. Go up. Oh, there it is. Women. Shannon Sheever was a 23 year old graduate student. What? She well, this isn't the right thing. Wow, what? that's a weird redemption of a dog. <laughs> yeah, she was murdered by Calvin Brodus. You go, wow, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wow, this guy goes deep in character. He's fucking weird. He's fucking <laughs> the streets of New York in this shit. Hmm. Oh, you're trying to find out what's playing in the yeah, background. Yeah, what audio it is. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. Dude, a Snoop Dogg, a live 
I can't think of something I'd want to see less, but watch more like on yeah. something like this. I'd watch it on World Star Hip Hop, the whole play. I wonder if there. What's the weed smoking right. policy in this? Did he write the play? Yo, it's just gonna be straight vapes during the performance, <laughs> no. y'all. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, actually, oh, that might and be a problem. And the bizzles oh, for the play whistle. Oh, for sure. I forgot my lines. From what I saw of it, it <laughs> seems like, like Snoop Dogg dances around like this while people do a play around it. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> "Is the deal? I think I'm gonna go stand in the middle. Y'all just <laughs> acting shit." Go ahead, can we have it now? So you just gonna do this right in my face? <laughs> Dude, you fucking... <laughs> Church don't pay the bills. These hits do. Oh. <laughs> Why is everyone holding a bottle? Everyone in every scene is holding a bottle. Is that Cat Williams? Yeah, oh, dude, that oh, would be... Was there Cat Williams? Probably. If he get... Oh no! I Who's that, that little guy with a ponytail? Is that Ice Cube? The guy that's Ice Cube. That ain't. That is ain't, that a globe on the desk? That ain't Cat Williams. That's Matt Williams. Yeah, Morky as Busk. Yeah, it's supposed to be Ice Cube. Dude, this is a classy desk. I don't think his desk at home looks like this. <laughs> is that supposed to be Suge Knight? Yeah, that's supposed to be Suge Knight. Dude, what you don't know, Ryan, is that Suge Knight loves collectible clocks. <laughs> so. True. Suge Knight he's hearing us. He goes, "Yo, Snoop Dogg's getting some. Uh, he's yo, he's going at you, dog." He goes, "What? He throw that shit on wax?" He goes, "No, man." He made a play about you, man. <laughs> he goes, I ain't gonna lie, dog. The second act ain't nice towards you. <laughs> yeah. He goes, the way where the story goes, man, he fucked your ass up. <laughs> what did he say? The stage direction was a revelation. Well, he basically made you an, an amalgamation of all the evil in his life. <laughs> I took and he pinned it. I took notes from Bob Fossey to write this motherfucker. He goes, oh my God, Snoop Dogg went straight Tennessee Williams on your ass. Then there was a kiss over his I I got Tony Award winner Jules Fisher doing the lighting homes. He goes, sound writing. Everybody hits. I hope this wins a Tony just so like Alan Cummings can be like, and the winner for best supporting actor, Little Stank for redemption. (laughs) The tail of a dog. (laughs) I (laughs) I was moved to tears watching Snoop's journey. <laughs> Wait, is this little guy in the hat supposed to be Snoop? I think so. Dude, what? This is six, Snoop's like six foot six. He goes, oh, for sure. Play, get yeah. someone that's tiny. By the way, he's got uh, oh, Cuba Gooding's brother. Yeah. He's in the play. Is that Omar? Really? Omar Gooding, yeah. From Baby Boy. <laughs> oh, my God, it is. All right, go back a little bit. Because I This is great. Yo ass hits do. Ooh, music. But once we start, there ain't gonna be no going back. For the first time ever on the theatrical stage, the hit stage play everybody's talking about. <laughs> Wait, who's talking about it? Doing everybody. Dude, why does it? Dude. Oh, dude, look at that. What a fucking cover. It looks like a mixtape album. Dude, they're, they're doing the announcement like it's a huge, like, you know, like hot 97 party. Are oh, you ready for the new hottest play in dude. South Central? Dude, yeah. this fucking it's got a poster. flyer like it's a that, black show on saying. a Thursday. That flyer looks like a nightclub fucking host party. Special appearance by Trick Daddy. It looks like the poster for Belly 2. Yeah. <laughs> the guy on the end 20 looks years like, uh, in the making. It's finally here. All the answers here. Yeah, you like, had. I think Simon Cowell looks like he's in it. Um, but it's Eric Benet, comedian oh, sh- Lil JJ, Tamar Braxton. Omar Gooding. Special appearance Lil by JJ. Nathan Lane. Yeah. <laughs> comedian Lil JJ. He was a Harvey Firestein just yeah. shows Patrick, up. Patrick. Patrick Stewart. Oh, wait. There was there a Belly 2. Oh, there was Belly 2. Can you play oh, the, the trailer for Belly 2? Yeah, let's get into that. Because I loved Belly. Belly was fucking great. But I, I want to not s- enjoy Belly. You didn't like it? The opening scene to me is still great. Where they robbed the strip yeah. club? I was more of a Sugar Hill guy. Got it. Oh, you didn't like... Mm-hmm. What about okay. T-Boz? She did pretty well. Dude, I'll tell you this. Nas's acting is fucking awful in Belly. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. terrible. It's no. so... Well, hold on Say now. it ain't true. Hold on now. Nas's hold on natural now. gifts of an actor. DMX and Method Man are great. I'll give you the, but hold on Nas with the little kid was actually a good scene remember that come on, come on. I liked it Crucial Conflict was great <laughs> wait wait wait, yeah, wait. now I want to see Nas with this little kid you want to see if he like a good show? The kid actually out acts Nas. Like yeah. the kid's well, you yeah. can't backpedal now. Wait. You just no, said not, Nas it's a good it. scene because that kid carries the load. The, the marijuana kid... smoke in that movie out acted oh my <laughs> Nas. God, was... that weed smoke. You're like that must have been some. It was fun. like low weed smoke the whole movie. <laughs> yeah, like every room. Every room. Yeah, you're like, did you guys always the movie just had a hue? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this it? Do you have the scene with Nas? Oh right man, yeah. God, man. Rossdale Projects. Oh, yeah. Me and Buns used to hang out there. Tommy Buns. That's where all the bitches was. 
<laughs> Yo, when I walked through, I saw my man Shorty out there pumping. You know. Shorty was like 12 going on 20. Oh, this scene. A real loser type nigga, you know. She's called you know, a 12 year old a loser? <laughs> <laughs> real loser, this 12 year old kid. Fuck him. Really fuck didn't his give life. him much of a chance. Yeah. Like 12, you're done. He goes, he's 12. You <laughs> fuck it. Yo, his life. Yo, that player's life no is home. over. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, this motherfucker almost lived a, a bake a dozen years. Yo, yo, that hopscotch game is whack as fuck, yo. He doesn't even know long division. He's done. <laughs> Nas definitely didn't believe in late bloomers. 12 and you're fucking out of here if you haven't made somebody yourself. I get it. He sucked. Dude, that's so funny. This wasn't realistic that he was ever going to make it out the project. He's <laughs> just a kid. <laughs> he's a 12 year old. I f totally forgot about the scene and now oh, I remember. Shorty? <sighs> I love when the Watch kids wear paper, men's huh? size coats. Yo, I got bagged, my son. What happened? Thursday, I got bagged. Boy, what happened, fuck son? Fuck with this nigga on the fucking roof, man. On the roof? Yeah, man. What you doing? Shot this nigga, man. And I got still burning, man. Shit's just getting hot. See? It's got whole shit down. You know what I'm saying? Got the bulletproof vest. <laughs> it's 12. You like this, too? I, I mean, in the 90s when I was... <laughs> oh, damn, man. Yeah, I still like it. I'll stay behind it. You're a big belly guy, huh? Big belly guy. I'm <laughs> staying with it. Can you just imagine with Dan wearing, like, fat farm and cross colors? Like, oh. This is my movie. No, yeah. Dan was uh, looking like a... School shooter. Like a school shooter when he was younger. Ex exactly like Dylan Klebold. Really? Yeah. You, Why don't you, you take were... a run at me, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you coming outside the cafeteria, Josh. Come Let me catch you. Oh, Let but me no. catch you. Soder's yeah. really listening to Rammstein a yeah. lot. I go, dude, let me see you at a passing period, dude. That scene that we just watched made me regret getting that belly tattoo in like <laughs> over your what stomach. Idiot. Yeah, yeah, was. Like, Wait, can you why, can you bring up Belly Two, the trailer with the that game? That might be better. The game oh. might be decent. I know. Oh. It might be. It might be good, Jay. Maybe the maybe the Belly Two gets back on board. Oh, game was probably what the first one was missing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. uh, you know the guy that has no tone in his raps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lionsgate got behind it though. <laughs> oh, here we go. No. What do I got to smile about? I just gave the state eight years of They have the same sound engineer as that sensitivity training? Yeah. Oh, you should still get a go Video. on the web present. Where are you going? Brazil. That's content. So you can take me away. Oh, production value a little this bit lower on this this one. Terrible. That's hey. My, that's my boy. Oh my. Filmed entirely on Android. <laughs> DMX, is, DMX is back. Oh. He told me to find a spot to bury the treasures. Oh, wow. I thought it was DMX was back. It was Omar again. Why does he have such a hilarious gun? Why does he have Joker's gun from Batman? Why, why are they showing you the whole movie? He's back. Who did the score to this? Is this just all public domain music? <laughs> it does sound like it. Dude, this is great. Rap, rap, hip-hop, rap. Rapity, rap, rap, hip-hop, rap. Dude, how did they talk him? Guns and, and violence. <laughs> and violence and guns and bitches. <laughs> this has a porn level quality, it production does. quality to it. I mean, it. this looks like your friend <laughs> decided to make this. Oh. You wish. Remember the game's big, fat, huge dick? Remember that video? Or the, the picture that oh, leaked yeah. of him? He's got a Tommy gun? Oh, man. It's, it's up there with Greg Odin's. It's that yeah, big. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. huge. He was also on... Uh, Greg well, Odin's was unreal. And you remember he also he was like seven foot two. Yeah. And had that just... Yeah! Yeah! Yes. 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 Damn! That's bigger than Jacob. Got people free. <laughs> oh, my God. He, he's got a dick so big he broke his heel. Stop it! Well, how tall is the game? If he's like 4'11", it's not that impressive. <laughs> Dude, how tall Greg is the game? Remember Greg Odin? I don't know, but Chris Jesus Brown also. Christ. Those were the three biggies. Dick? Greg Odin was what back. Do Greg Odin Odin is, is, is like as big as that. That's like Mandingo quality. That's down. At through, <laughs> that's through the fucking athletic shorts. Or what are those called? What kind of specific? They're in boxer briefs. Under like, Armour's? Yeah, yeah, like, under yeah, yeah, like. I love getting a boner of mine choosing a side, though. You well, dude, for a few minutes, that guy's got that guy's Oh wait, you you can run a boner down the side of the leg? No, oh. you get it, and then you just make it pick a uh, side. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you got to put it on one up, side, man. and then uh, and then force it. you feel yeah. Look at Greg Oden, that's soft, man. That's yeah, that's <laughs> Jesus Christmas. He's even grown some pubes. The kind I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, dick to dick to body game is. Uh, I think he's got him beat. He's got the. Well, thickness. check out Chris Brown too. Don't don't, forget, don't leave out Chris Brown on this dick off. I wonder how their acting is, though. What? <laughs> What's their acting? What? <laughs> you mean their dick acting? Dick acting. I want to see their dick acting. 
Is that Chris? Jesus, I mean, Chris Brown. I mean, that's just uh, nah, that soft. Was, no, 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 no. See, Greg Oden's looks like a normal long penis, but then Chris Brown's is all head. Go back. It's weird. I don't know, man. I think that's what gave think, Rihanna a black eye right there. Yeah, <laughs> Game just has like a fucking just a yeah big mean dick. A fucking sausage. <laughs> yeah, that's a fucking. If I'm if I'm being a size that's queen, a brat. that's a real broad. If we're doing yeah. our if we're doing our size queen draft right now. My first pick is the game. I go All game. Right. I go game. Odin, Chris Brown. What do you guys oh, pick? See, Size go, queen draft. Uh, now here's. I'm a rhythm guy, so oh. I like guys gonna. You know. <laughs> oh, Chris Brown. Be, I yeah, didn't. Chris yeah. Brown's gonna throw. And by the way. Picturing what would have to happen in our crazy sex, <laughs> I'm taking that long thinny. I'm with before you on I go that. fucking before I go off fat by, blood by force way, trauma on my ass. I'm the game 100 percent because he has to he has to pinch off the dick almost like Ron Jeremy to get the blood down to extend it. Uh, so it's like he's uh, just right. trying to. It's he's gonna, got so it's much be malleable. Blood, he's got so much blood build up in the balls and, and bottom yeah. shaft that he needs to. Yeah, you know, work it it's like getting a, it's like trying to squeeze a wiggle worm into your butthole. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's yeah. like he's it's like he's decorating a cake. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's rolling down the toothpaste tube and just yeah. trying to get that, that last dribblet of crest. Let's go. Uh, Chris, I know Christine did the, put all three dicks next to each other so she can get a new screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I swipe left. There's a bigger one. I swipe right. Uh, hello. Hello, old friend. Uh, hello, hello, darkness, my old friend. Let's go back to the Snoop Dogg trailer because oh, I want to see. Please. Yeah, We got sidetracked by belly talk because I forgot that he hung out with a 12-year-old kid that he called a piece of shit. <laughs> And Demetria McKinney with comedian Little JJ plus some baby boy Omar Good. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, don't do that. You don't have any more good things. Put your hands up. You got to go to work. The story you dare I we have to go. My legs. We have to go. I 100 percent am going with you if you guys go to this. Where's it playing? Oh, stop! Stop! Pause it! Pause it! Pause it. 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 You know, actually, oh, the oh, DC yeah. one. It's on just it all misses. I miss everything. God, dude, I dude. hope it gets Live removed. at the Warner Theater, Redemption starring Silk the Shocker. Yeah, dude, that'd be great. <laughs> Master P tours with a Doesn't no Doesn't uh, Tony play. Hitchcliffe know him? Actually, oh, yeah. yeah. Him, him and uh, Jeff Ross both know him really well. In this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Is he comedian Dog. little JJ? Oh, hey, uh, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> what are Snoop you doing? Dog. I'm the ghost of gangsta past. Oh, dude, I want to see this did, so bad. Did they lift up his armpits and do like your armpits smell joke? When he hey, lifted his arms pull up, pull that back. He was chair. fanning him. I think he passed well, out. Oh, were fanning uh, him. Lil JJ is the comic relief, of course. So any scene with him is right hysterical. Right there. Yeah. Oh, I go back oh, more. That's a nurse. Yeah, it's a nurse. He's like, I'm sick. Knight. And all his friends are like, "Don't die because you're our meal ticket." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. You don't have any more sick days. Put your hands up. You don't have any more sick days. Dude, what's yes. great is that, there, is that Snoop Dogg like sing like he's got to stand to the side while this girl sings like a theatrical play. Yeah, inside <laughs> he goes, yeah, that's what's up. He was on trial for murder. Yeah, and now this, how do you think now the, this? It'd be funny if the family of the guy that got murdered had to watch it. That's what they win in civil court. <laughs> he goes, I I decided to pay off the family of the guy that I killed. <laughs> yeah, I'd be happier to be find out he was responsible for an actual murder than being in a play now. It's such a weird. Baby, you get box seats to Redemption of a Dog. He goes, oh, oh, Uncle yeah. Shazam, I'm gonna give you points on the back end. <laughs> what, what is, is it about thing? though? Like I still it's a don't Redemption know. of a Dog. No, dude. I know, but. It, is it about his life? Like, what? Can you look that up? Probably find it. Find it's, it out. I mean, don't give me too much because I might go see this, so don't spoil it. Oh, everything. yeah, you're going to be back in L.A. I will. I'll be back on the 18th. Oh, you miss it. Oh, yeah. Fuck. You better change your flight to fly into Oakland. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the only it's true. Reroute this, The bitch. only performance. 
Dude, somebody follow Jacarvius or whoever this this thing is so we can find Jacarius. out all the all the updates. So that's really Cuba Gooding Jr.'s brother. Yeah. And then Tony Braxton's sister. Yep. Yeah. So it's all Snoop to star in semi autobiographical uh, like touring wall. musical. Uh, it's like the wall. <laughs> yeah. Please believe that you've never seen urban theater like this. Faux shizzle. With my flavor and his expertise, <laughs> we're going to bring the people an unmissable show. The rapper promises. Wow, urban theater. I've never heard you that know, term. You've never smelled so much weed in a the theater till oh, this show. You've seen black theater come out. When I, growing up in Philly, that was always the best. Like my my the song the titles of the movies or the plays were always like my arms are too short to fight God. <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about us, weed and juice. I mean, those are legit plays. Look at look up preacher plays like titles. They're great. Black Lou, have you ever gone to black theater? Black musical theater? I have not ever. Not musical theater. They're called just preacher black plays. Theater. Preacher plays. Yeah, I don't know if they're musicals necessarily. I think they're now just but they'd always be like starring, you know, Raj <laughs> from What's Happening, <laughs> Ernest Thomas, starring Stevie's Raj, Nicki Minaj's sister, <laughs> yeah, Rachel Minaj. <laughs> you look at preacher plays. Mm-hmm. They give you the names of them. They're so great. <laughs> Two arms. Too Some of them start with Lord. Lord, what's up on my coming check? I, I just wonder if Snoop, I mean, it's probably going to only be a couple days because Snoop, like three shows, is going to be like, I don't want to do this anymore. I think so. Yeah, yeah he'll give up on Well, it's already shit. been going cool on longer than that. He crammed like <laughs> 10 shows in one month, though. I will give him that. Yeah, he's like, when did I agree to do this? They're like, you were high as fuck and you said a musical theater thing would be funny. You go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was I hizzle? Oh, shit. <laughs> I was I, You caught me listening to Phantom of the Opera <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh! Now I gotta, now I gotta fuck with the music of the night. Oh, you just oh. the Les Misel. Oh, <laughs> Les Miserables. Yo, baby, let's mm. let's down this blunt and then go see Cats for research. <laughs> Snoop, I'm, I, I'm sick of it. I don't want to go out anymore. Miss Saigon Nizzle. <laughs> I always, who's the who's the songwriter? Frank Lloyd Wright, or is that the architect? That's you're the Andrew architect. Lloyd Webber. You're Andrew about. Lloyd Webber. Frank Lloyd Webber. Hey, hey, I could see how they could get uh, But that was how I led, where I was like, it's two yeah, names. It's I either an I assassin, an architect, or a fucking I don't know poser. who that is, but I definitely knew that Andrew Lloyd Webber was Andrew Broadway Lloyd Webber, Webber. yeah. That Fra- says a lot about me. Frank Lloyd Wright. Great. Architect. Yeah. His houses were pieces of shit, though. <laughs> yeah. Looked great, but they would fall apart after like 10 years. Yeah. It's like a fucking cheap college apartment. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's pretty sick, right? And he had like, one where the roof was just held on with chains. I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad for practical living yeah. in that house. Do you find preacher play names? No, I'm not finding preacher play names. It says, <laughs> whoever thought of this is a racist. Let's uh, let's take our last break. Jay's got to go to sensitivity inclusion training tomorrow. <laughs> let's take our final break. We're hanging out. Ryan O'Neill, Josh Adam Myers. Yeah. Uh, you can check out Josh's uh, new podcast, The 500 with Josh Adam Myers, uh, on iTunes, wherever you download podcasts from. Uh, it's where he interviews people, comedians, and actors, and just celebrities Everybody. in general, uh, about the fi- the Rolling Stones list of 500 greatest albums of all time. And of course, you can catch Ryan O'Neill and his partner Jeff Dennis on Danish and O'Neill podcast, available on iTunes. Uh, we'll be right back. It's the bonfire. Damn right it is. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Kill it. Stop. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Center Radio, Sirius XM 95. Big Jokers and Dan Soder hanging out. Ryan O'Neill, Josh Adam Myers. Um, you guys both live in L.A. I want to take a moment real quick to talk about the American Red Cross. Uh, please support them. They, uh, they're they doing everything they can to help out with these uh, wildfires. Are not. Do you guys know displaced people? Yeah, uh, well, yeah. I, most of them are all celebrities because it hit like the super, super wealthy areas. It hit like Woodland Hills and Topanga Canyon. So I know like Malibu Whitney, and shit even. Joe Rogan had to had to split his house. He had to evacuate. Um, yeah. Rick Ingram just had to leave. I know some people that were displaced before the fires as well. Paul Drago, my buddy Jason Momoa, he had to move. Guys. No, he had to get out because he's up in the hills. Wait, your Ivan Drago. Jason, yeah. Is Ivan Drago still there? Yeah. Ivan Drago, yes. Christina, she's been flicking bean to the thought. All yeah, because I t- when I told her that I he's scheduled to do the 500, uh, you literally, she used to see her pussy go... Yeah. She's like, ooh. You go, why can I hear a heartbeat all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> well, we all know that 
Aquaman and several other people have been affected by uh, California wildfires. They urgently need your support. Your donation can help the American Red Cross meet emergency needs, provide shelter, and give hope to these families. Please donate today. Uh, go to redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS to donate to California wildfires. Your support is critical. Uh, they can't do it without you. It's, uh, yeah, man. I don't even know. When I see those videos, I'm like, where? Do, how does that stop eventually? What's the plan on it? Just yeah, wet around it? I mean, if what they're doing, I guess, is just taking, like, like the water and that, like, uh, that red uh, yeah. extinguisher stuff. Yeah. Retarded. Not the fire No, they're using that red, like, foam or whatever that, that spray to kind of put it out. And it just, it's, you hear about it for a while, and then it just kind of dies down. I think it's starting to get contained. Yeah. I don't, Did you see all the llamas on the beach? There's, I like, did not. llamas and horses and wild animals just running around the beach. Hell so yeah. if you want to go horseback riding for free, head <laughs> on down to Zoom. Do if you want a really? chaotic Instagram yeah. picture. It's like weird animals out there, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's because people like, oh, mountain dodo birds. Yeah, yeah, they were extinct. Is that a mountain lion? Why is a mountain oh, lion on the beach? We'll just see a mountain lion. <laughs> Once they told me there could be mountain lions in Malibu, when I stayed with my friends in Malibu, and I went out back to smoke like cigarettes you'd hear like crackling in the woods i'd be like no 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 <laughs> go back inside they have one mountain lion in griffith park right right where i live and it's it has no one to mate with so it's just like this horny mountain lion that's roaming the park because i go up there at night and like hike real late and hoping you that see it? i have a knife with me because my dream is to kill it <laughs> and just like le- take a picture just one picture Dude, leave the body there I just the not, outrage of I, that community I, I, do the not knife. Want, I do not want a clip of this radio show to be the thing where like Ryan O'Neill died in a mountain lion <laughs> that's the thing that's what he does he goes my dream is to kill a mountain lion he goes Ryan did try to kill a mountain lion <laughs> but what happened that. next <laughs> that <laughs> changed his family lion. forever that mountain lion ended up becoming the 47th president of the United <laughs> States of America that man's gone on Butterfly effect become the premier of Luxembourg. Lou, where are you excited for sensitivity training now? Because you know you're gonna come back with stories. I don't know. Are you you gonna be allowed to talk about it? What if you get laid during the break? (laughs) What? What an inclusive way to teach someone. I'm so bored. I can really like to bust a nut right now. It'd be pretty great, wouldn't it? I just love the way. Fuck yeah. She goes, oh, I just love that you're a bad boy. She goes, you don't want to be included in nothing. Lou goes, shut up. Put that mouth where it counts. Oh, Lou, you're the biggest bad boy in this room. Right? Have you guys ever had to do inclusion training? Nah, no, no. Yeah, I used to sell cars like years ago. Hell yeah. Uh, in like the late 90s, early 2000s. And we had to do that. But they just put us in a room with a VCR, so dudes yeah. were like waving their dicks around during it, shit. Because car salesmen are fucking, yeah. they're just blowing rails, just doing way to fuck some just fucking horny up. housewives, sell them a minivan. Uh, how about I get you a Pontiac Sunfire and I eat your butt? Yeah, wait, we have so, a nice Dodge Intrepid. Yeah, it's only got eighty thousand miles in the back. So if I let someone have their way with Christine, we'll get a good deal on this Explorer. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. There was like, yeah, those guys are the wildest, man. Car salesman guys? Yeah. Are they really? I used to have the keys to the, uh, you know, they have lock boxes on them? Yeah. And I remember they had a new Trans Am at another sister lot of ours that our keys still work. So me and my buddy got wasted and we had somebody drive us over the lot because I was like, I really want to drive this car. So then we got in the car at like one in the morning and we're doing donuts and shit. And I was... If I would have that car, I would have been fucked. Dude, you just are catching a Dewey in a fucking car. Yeah. Do we are racing the between at the cars? Work? Dude, that's so funny. You go, whoop, whoop. Uh, the car's not showing up. You go, it's, I live here. it's temporary plates. I'm Mr. <laughs> Nissan. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I'm Mr. Ford. Who do you want to talk to? Speaking. Oh, my name is Roger Chevrolet. Yeah, he goes, he goes, uh, <laughs> I'm Mr. Ford, but please call me Dan. My father's Mr. Ford. <laughs> <laughs> we got you out here in a Grand Am going 120 miles. Yes, I'm Ralph Pontiac. <laughs> this is my car. And you can't oh, you must be it. looking for senior. Mm, seniors asleep upstairs in the study. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's fucking nuts. That's a risky It's, it's a risky ride. maneuver, man, for sure. Yeah, and you just got it back to the lot perfectly? Just got it back in. Yeah, shockingly. The next day, the guy, next day the guy's going to put a new sticker on. He goes, it smells like burnt rubber. Real bad. The chassis is all <laughs> fucked up on this thing. The alignment is real out of whack. <laughs> he goes, born to be wild keeps playing on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> you guys know those tire marks all over the lot? <laughs> Ryan just comes Zima in. Zima bottles all over the back seat. <laughs> Ryan Zima. comes in. He goes, no, man. That's cool. It's I'm crazy stuff. Got to work over at the sister store today. <laughs> I, did, I did fuck a chick, though. You know how they put 
those cars up on like uh, the pillars, you know? Yeah. 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 So one night I brought a chick there because I was far from my house and I was like, all right, we should just fuck in this. So we climbed up there and we were fucking in like the display up on the, the ramp. pillar. Yeah. Hell How yeah. did you? What's awesome. Do you remember what kind of car it was? Yeah, it was a new Land Cruiser. It was a, okay, so it was a bigger car. Yeah, I worked at a Toyota dealer. Nice. I started the Dodge dealer across the street, then I got poached by the Toyota oh, dealer. Oh, they go, Ryan, style, right? Ryan, bad news. <laughs> These guys from Tokyo are here for Toyota. Have you been a fucking in a display car? <laughs> you shows amount seed? of dishonor. <laughs> you are now president of Toyota. <laughs> you imagine if you did that in Japan, you'd have to take that sword right to the stomach. Yeah. Harry Do it in front, of, in front of in front of the forerunners sink <laughs> end yourself in front of the highlanders dude that's fucking nuts did you have to help her up honor. what's that did you have to help her up into the oh car? yeah it, was like, it wasn't like it she's, in a co- she's in a cocktail dress and she's like do i grab the floorboards or no, grab the runner i had to fold all the seats down and there's three rows of seating up oh, and you're up so, high yeah, so i'm like folding it was it was a there was way more moving pieces to it than I originally had planned yeah, for. Yeah, because you're like, there's a car up in the sky. Yeah. It's like a bunk bed. And then it's you can hammer. hear people stopping because the lot's closed. And then they close, you know, they pull off just to look at cars so they don't get bothered by car salesmen at like one in the morning. So you can hear people like creeping around. And I'm like, oh, this is a bad idea. They go, that's so <laughs> weird. Hilarious. Did you put on music in the car? No. I didn't turn it on. I didn't want to draw any attention. So you just so people are walking by. They go, "Honey, they got some good deals over here." <laughs> just like, what is that? Uh, also, it uh, fogs up quick because it was winter time. I think I, think I hear Sade <laughs> coming out of that high. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, fuck me, Nathan. Yeah. Fuck me, Nathan uh, Pontiac. And then it yeah. just smell. He can't uh, roll the windows down. It just oh, uh, Ronnie, smelling. Oh, Ronnie uh, Toyota. Uh, I want to come on the true coat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see what kind of lacquer finish this thing has. Oh, geez, is that perforated leather? <laughs> oh. He goes. Oh, new car smell mixed uh, with. Come, <laughs> it's the only way I get hard. Oh yeah, it smells like bleach and uh, carpets. Oh uh, god, it smells like fresh cut leather and jizz. <laughs> Dude, they, someone bought that car. Yeah, isn't that weird to think? It, I, I would like to know where it is today. Jeez, to go back. I hope someone's visit. listening to this show in that car, knowing Ryan O'Neill busted <laughs> ass on a car bus. For that guy. Bust off. Yeah, I've I've only fucked in a car once. It was a girl, uh, her dad's. SUV. And she put the seats down, but I've never. Have you had sex in like a regular car, like a a whole bunch somehow? Really? Yeah, even with a chub chick one time. <laughs> car yeah. fucking. What about you, Josh? Uh, actually, funny story. Uh, the last girl that I dated for an extended period of time, I met her at the Hollywood Improv, and then she was like, "Can I get a ride home?" And it was like five minutes after meeting her, and then I had sex with her in my Cadillac in front of the Hollywood Improv at like 1.30 in the morning. Uh, wow. And then we dated for two years like a fuck face. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Fuckface. Two years? Well, on and off. It was it was very, it was more off than on, but we, yeah. How good was that ass that if you keep coming back for two years? It was fantastic. Oh, kind of like, kind of like driving a brand new Toyota Land Cruiser. It was oh. just nice and if you, smooth if, and comfortable. If you're going to fuck in a car, you have to wear a condom because if you don't, there's DNA. As like, soon as she gets up, it's just spilling everywhere. Yeah. It is just like somebody dumped fucking they got, yeah, but if they you don't have tapioca it, but, all over your but, lap. I mean, in the Land Cruiser, you could just nut anywhere. It's just, that's, well, no, they if, can't prove it. If you, you go in a Land Cruiser, you can lay down and do it. But if you're in a car and you're fucking like in the seat, yeah. it's a nightmare. Yeah, you gotta have leather seats, you're gonna fuck in a car. There's no yeah. cream pies when you're You want to run off. You have to run off. You have to just, you have to, you have to put your hand What's, right, you pull your dick out and put your hand on the pussy. Yeah. What's really go, good that? Just open the door, open the door. Don't move, don't move. Don't move, don't move. I've got my hand I didn't hand think on. about it, but Christine, if we get this new car, are we supposed to fuck in the car at least once? You gotta mark your territory, dude. Yeah, you have to. Yeah? Yeah. We've never fucked in a car. Wait, what kind of car are you getting? You guys us? have never fucked in a car. Enough. Because we fucked Is around in have... a car, but we never fucked in a car. Absolutely. I fucked. Oh, man, I forgot I fucked uh, my ex girlfriend in a car, and it was so awkward. <laughs> Why I was, was it in the awkward? back? Because we went to. I met her parents. And then she was like, and she they had, were driving, and you were yeah, fucking and her I go, in the back seat. I go, this woman. I go, hey. <laughs> hey, mister. I'm doing your daughter. <laughs> no, we went out. I met her parents, and she was driving me home back to Queens. And she was like, "That went so well." She's like, "I have to. I, I can only drop you off. I can't stay the night, but I want to have sex with you." So we just pulled around in her parents' neighborhood and had sex on this like street, and it was sucked. 
Yeah, yeah I was like sitting great. in the back what? seat. I was like, yeah. also, you're what, tall. It's what tough. People, yeah, but here's tall. the thing: is if you want to have sex in like a regular, just like Toyota Corolla, what you do is if you have the seats that go down in the back, so you put those. Yeah, if they're those, rich. No, no. Yeah. If you get the base model <laughs> you, Corolla, they won't do but that. But you put the seats down, and then so your legs go in the trunk, so you can be like, you know, you have way more room yeah. to kind of. Yeah. Josh, you action. could fuck. You could fuck in a luggage rack of an I airplane. Know, I'm, I'm really <laughs> tiny, so everything works for me. But <laughs> so you're saying, put the seats. The back Put seats the back down. seats down that's, so it can go into the trunk, and then that's how that was how the girl. We when I slept it. in my car. Dude, that's my, a couple times I did that. My chick, genius. My girl. We put the passenger seat as forward as possible. I get in the back seat. She would straddle me. She would take off a pant leg. Okay. Straddle me, still wearing her fucking Charlotte Hornets pullover starter. Do so you got that like plastic? You got that like old jacket feel? The fucking yeah, the windbreakery. But then material. it's it's the jacket feel, but also she starts sweating cuz you're having sex and breathing hard. So and it's like, cold. Yeah, it's like cold like, outside. <laughs> like, it was fun. It was good times. You're like oh, oh. But the only thing that feels great is your fucking dick inside because everything else is wintry. <laughs> it's freezing. It's actually, all wintry except your actually, dick. I know, yeah. but you know it's also actually more funny about that? I recall that the visual I have in my head. We fucked in the car a bunch of times, but yeah. I remember that visual particularly because that was also a time we wanted to not use condoms. We didn't really use condoms at all, but we started getting worried about her rock and getting roll. pregnant or anything. Yeah. So we started using this. One of the options for spermicidal suppositories, you put wait, up inside say, them. Wait, up your ass? It's no, 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 no. In oh, her like a vaginal, pussy, your vaginal, uh, yeah. Okay. And you put it up there, but you have to let it like melt for a while. Like a sugar so cube? Like, you so didn't like, wait, dri- did you? No, we did, but it's like driving somewhere. Uh-huh. Because it melted? And then, and no, and then, yeah, th- no, because then you put it in her pussy, and then you sit there, and you're like, <laughs> did it melt it yet? <laughs> Here you go. Mm, that's pretty fun. Did they Is give you like a yet? time frame on how long it takes to melt? Well, if not, it's going to feel like you're fucking... I feel like it's going to be like... Uh, the way the thing looks, it had like a point to it. Yeah. It feels like it's going to be a crayon going into your dick oh, hole. So like a sounding. I feel like it's... <gasps> oh, I see. You had to let it dissolve before you could fuck. Yeah. Oh. So is it like it. Is it like two hours? You you could be like... No, right, no, honey, no. It was like... It in. Did you have to like <laughs> tap her pussy to see if it's ready? He goes... <laughs> no, he's like... You go, right. let me get one more feel. He's no, like, it, we're going to put it in, and then we're going to go see Redemption of a Dog, and when we get out, <laughs> that'll yeah. be the perfect amount oh, of time. Just like your Birth conception melting yeah. in the pussy. Oh. There you go. And you're like, look, I don't want that thing going fucking. Do they uh, still sell that? Nose first like, into my dick hole. Does, does anybody mm. still use that stuff? Sperm No, but it takes about 10 minutes, I think. Maybe we have to wait like 10 minutes. Man. That is, oh my God! Yeah, spermicidal foam and applicator. Hey, you want to dildo yourself with some fake jizz first? It, it busts up like a like when there's big accidents. Were you just you not those? into pulling out, or you didn't trust that you could? Um, we it was. I think she had gotten like pregnant accidentally already at one point, like from oh. me. So I think we were trying to not have that happen that again. again. Yeah. Did you not pull out with her? Is that how she got pregnant? I don't remember. I think well, I, I mean, pull, I think I always pulled out. I've always been a guy who like to admire my work. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, pregnancy means it's the definition of not pulling out. I won't come inside, Christy, until I can write the entire lyrics to the Star Spangled Banner and jizz on her body. Go. And I'm no Francis Scott Key. <laughs> yeah, I am still in the first stand. I'm up to no, no, no. I'm up to Rockets Red Glare and the Rockets. He goes, do I want to hit that note? <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever been caught by anybody's parents while you're fucking their daughter? No. No, I've had doors knocked on before. My, I had the, my ex-girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend brought, I had her birthday present be for her mom to get us like a fuck hotel. It was so weird. That is weird. Mom dropped that us off weird. and everything. Have Very you ever, have you ever been caught? Uh, I had, yeah, the first time I had sex, um, I was in the basement of this chick's uh, house and we started fucking like out of the blue. I wasn't expecting it at all. Yeah. No condom or anything. Oh, boy. And next thing I know, I see a shadowy figure in the back. But he stayed there for like a couple minutes. Weird. And then he go. Oh, I just heard a voice go. I think it's time for everyone to go home. Oh, oh. like you finished so oh. broke. She was like, he should have put up one finger. Hold on. I'm about to take it. <laughs> oh. I got a 15 year old daughter in here somewhere. Hey, he goes. You're right, buddy. I need a snack. All right, have a good night. I had to show later, Mr. H. <laughs> Fucking dick flip him, <laughs> dick bang him on the way out. I showed Josh <laughs> last night. Uh, the all that chatter video. The uh, oh my Come on, bro. Come on, finish, bro. I'm about to Come punch on. you. I'm about to punch you for real, yeah, bro. Let me a, up. That's a new bro. <laughs> uh, have you ever been walked in? I have. Uh, oh, I didn't. I, I didn't end up coming. Yeah, I, I didn't come. You didn't come. You left. Uh, yeah, I left, and then I was like, I can never come back to your house again. No, no, no. So. 
Yeah, you but can, now I can only come if somebody's father walks into the room. <laughs> That's the only way. If, if, oh, I got caught fingers in a guy's sister. Weird. By like yeah, her brother. Where? Oh, I had a brother, and incident. he made us like he just told me to leave. Yeah. How old are you? I said she made me. I always said they made me do it. Wow. All right. I was like, um, I mean, like twelve. Twelve? Yeah, I was young. <laughs> What did you say? 12? 12? It was young, yeah, yeah. Your finger fucking at 12? It, but it wasn't How finger How old was fucking. she? Like it was 35? Like, it was literally, uh, she was 35. She was my mom's, up. My mom's what? friend. Yeah, I'm a Seuss friend. No, it was like very like just touching each other like in the dark no one really knew what they were yeah. doing i mean we knew what yeah. we were like we knew what we were doing but everyone was more like oh no what's it's, it's, it's like, the kind of touch down here or yeah, if i touch it, right here it, it literally yeah. if I touch right it here. sounded like that i'm or certain if i touch it. right here and she goes how about this this good she goes it's fine i guess i'm she like just want to put your like, fucking hand in there yeah. <laughs> hey altar boy fucking yeah, yeah. wait and so then the brother walked in he's like hey that's my pussy yeah. 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 no he opened the closet we were in we just like just getting light and we're like uh you're looking up and you go I couldn't find the shoes. I think I showed. I think I told Christine when we went to my grandmother's house because all the houses, those row homes, are built all the same in Philly. Yeah. They're all the same design. So if you remember downstairs in the basement, the little, it's like a, it's not a hidden cat closet, but it's a closet. It's just under the stairs, but it's like oh, the like panel, storage, like, like, a, like the like paneling a, just open, like crawl space. <laughs> no, yes, basically, but it's, yeah. it's just got the, it looks like the panels open yeah. like, with a door, and uh, where all the pictures were, it was in there. That's that good. it was in the one that's, that's one of the was. creepiest places. <laughs> like yeah. the stairs are really creaky. Did he hear you, or was he just like, "I'm going to go in there and jerk off," and somebody's in my spot? Yeah, yeah, oh, maybe it was his jerk there. castle. Yeah, he goes, yeah. "Time to go to the beat cave." You don't jerk in a man's beat cave. What did you? When did you get caught? Uh, I got caught when I was like 1920. I used to. Wait, I that, the year 1920. No, I was, oh, I, was, I, was, I went back in time. So the uh, Overlook I used Hotel. To, I used to have. You've uh, always been here, Josh. The basement of my parents' house. I turned into like my hangout area for Fuck me and that. my friends. Yeah we, yeah, we put a piece of carpet down because it was unfurnished, put a TV on a cooler and just got this old couch and made a coffee table and that was where we used to like smoke weed and play yes. spades. And so I used to, when I was going to raves, uh, I used to go on a Friday night and just meet girls and then throughout the week I just bring them back to my parents' house and just sleep with them throughout the week. And one time I was I was hooking up with this girl and we were, we were I was doing like missionary where she was she had her back on the couch and, and I'm kind of like, you know, like on my knees and my dad came downstairs with the laundry and so I had to like yeah and just like roll over and then it's just us kind of like in, in under this blanket you're like cold. waiting there yeah your your yeah. fucking privates are getting cold because they're wet and now yeah. they're exposed <laughs> and it's got to dry as you're like I'm so sorry this is so weird was your dad like don't mind me guys I'm just he goes, gonna, he, my he dad goes, mix the, laundry in he him. goes yeah he goes don't mix the colors with the whites you know what I'm saying <laughs> all right guys don't come in there he he just he he played it cool because we we basically the door opened and we had enough time to kind of like compose ourselves uh, and then he walked down and just kind of stared for a second and then just continued on with the laundry. She never said anything. She was okay. Yeah, my, my, I, was my, you know, my grandfather. I've told a story here before, though. You saw me and my like, little like third cousin, whatever, oh, yeah, doctor yeah, yeah. stuff. He just walked in, just went, dinner's ready. <laughs> and then he walked away. So he, died. Mean, but, he, died, he died taking it to the grave, I think. Yeah, good for him. My, my mom came home early from a date and I had a girl over that was a friend and we started fucking around while she was over. And I kind of knew she liked me, and I kind of liked her. We started fucking around, and she was buck naked, blowing me. And I just heard Boo, the garage door open, and I was like, fuck, fuck, I thought she farted on you. <laughs> She's like, hold on. I go, yeah, rip that ass, Jenny. I can tear that ass. But she, I was like, I, she took her clothes. I was like, go up to my room and change. And I put on basketball shorts and hid my dick and put yeah. a shirt over. And my mom came in, and I was like, hey, Jenny's upstairs. Jenna Graber's upstairs doing homework. She came over to help me with a project. My mom's <laughs> like, why are you here alone with her? I was like, what's up? <laughs> it looks like she left her pencil in your pants. Yeah. Shut she up, goes, mom. No, I was like sitting down though, and I was like, I don't know. I don't know. We're just doing a project. She's like, she needs to go home. I was like, hey, yeah, it's that's crazy. crazy. You need to go home. You're, I'm a man now. <laughs> I'm, a man. I'm a man of the house. You're out of here, Trish. You don't live here no more. Fight me. I, I, had a, I had a girlfriend, and we were watching TV, and we put the covers over, and then we started fucking, and her brother came downstairs, because we left all the lights on, like nothing was going on, and then he sat there, and he watched ah! TV with us while I was inside, right? 
stop thrusting, and I was like, "Oh my god!" What the fuck? Did and you go soft in her? He was t- yes, and then he was talking to us, and he just like kept going. Like, you, go like like, this, you go, "Oh man, I yeah. don't think." He goes, "He goes, are you kidding me? The Bears? They're gonna at least have an eleven hole. I'm <laughs> yeah. out of you now. I'm out of you. I fell out of you." <laughs> just, you start trying to find excuses to laugh to buck your body. He goes, "Oh man, your brother's hilarious." <laughs> 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 Oh man, what a good play! Yes, yeah, this guy's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate! celebrate. <laughs> Ryan O'Neill, Josh Adam Myers, thank you guys for hanging thank out. Thanks for having us, man. Hells yeah! Uh, check out Danish and O'Neill podcast and the Five Hundred, uh, BigJComedy.com for all tour dates, DanSoder.com for tour dates at the Bonfire SXM, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, the podcast, podcast, Listen. the videos, baby. Watch them. We, we are producing content. You just need to pick it up. I love you guys. We'll be back tomorrow. Man, lost tapes is a good one this week. And if you're in California, I hope you're safe. Yeah, it's going to be all, the Lost Tapes is going to be all the Autumn Rose story on uh, Dr. Doc, Phil. And so. we have a feeling this might be a two-episoder. Yeah, strong chance. Strong I lost chance. my mind. <laughs> I lost my mind. All right, we love you guys. Crackle, crackle.